Good luck. All right, welcome back. This is week 109 of the Shogi Teaching Ladder. And, yep, as always, we seek to play something new and something different. Um, I have advice that I probably should not immediately be playing Static Rook, but probably need to review more games first before I do such a thing. Let me boost the volume slightly on this. Um, so instead we're going to play some Swinging Rook opening. I haven't entirely made up my mind which one. Hmm. Who are we kidding? Let's play Third Fall Rook. It's our favorite place to put the Rook. It's not a bad place. Um... All right, so having nestled that, they are intending to play the rook to the third file, else they would have indicated something else by now. Um, not sure whether I should try to exploit the fact that they haven't moved the rook yet. If I push, if they take, if I move my bishop, the rook can defend this and then I can take back. Then my bishop becomes a target. Hmm. That doesn't do much. Okay, let's use my king safely and not try anything. I know I love my fireworks. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, goodness. You're just giving me all the rope in the world to hang myself, and you know I'm going to do it. I don't tend to back down from this. They play their rook, they play opposing rook quite a bit. Um, but there are advantages to exchanging the rook pawn, and so we're going to exchange the rook pawn. I've got my overlay set up correctly. This is good. Rook pawn has been exchanged. So, yeah, maybe I should have moved my bishop here. I got all super excited about how things are proceeding. They're clearly intending to bring their rook here. Mm -hmm. And our proverb today is only castle after you've seen where the rook is moved, right? All right, so this is their strategy, how they're going to deal with my attack. Um, it's interesting. I'm not able to puncture this so easily. Alright, so I play this to defend all my center pawns. They predictably play that. Um...
into the fire we go. But we say it's fine. This, we have to build a castle somewhere. And this looks like a castle to me. Um, if I bring up my silver, I have a silver wall, but it doesn't look bad. I don't understand what they're doing. So this weakens the square in the event that a bishop exchange occurs. Um, I fear that this pawn may be lost here. But there's so many things to be potentially afraid of in this position, so why should I worry about a pawn? Well, if their rook makes it over here, that there are more problems to worry about. Um, Pawn up, pawn takes, pawn drop, takes, takes, silver, I don't know. Also pawn drop, pawn up, bishop, king, takes, no. We, pawn up first, takes, pawn drop, they do something. It might be takes. I move my bishop out, they move the silver and it protects both pawns. That would be a loss, because I don't have additional pieces to throw at it. Um, hmm. Pawn up, pawn takes, pawn drops, silver takes is no good. Dropping the pawn and exchanging things once more doesn't resolve any tension. The only thing that changes the situation is if, well, one, I could move the gold to protect the other gold. That's immensely slow, but it does change a situation, but not necessarily for the better. If I fish this edge pawn, that's not right. Okay, I need to spend a move here, applying more pressure building up an eventual attack, but also maybe using you making use of the square somehow, but I don't see how.
But yeah, now I could bring out the knight and bishop. Um, if I push it, they exchange, exchange. This doesn't help me. If I push, exchange, exchange. Actually, pushing this pawn is fine. I have a pawn in hand and they don't. I This is not the right side of the board, but I have the pawn. They cannot initiate an attack right now. So... I'm with you, I'm with you. So now what? We've played this symmetry, and I'm Gota. It's your obligation to, or your challenge to find something here. That makes sense, actually. Well spotted. If I push, I'm pushing on my king's head. I take, rook takes. This gives them a pawn in hand. And if I push, they bring the silver up. If I take, the silver advances further, and I kick it, it retreats. Or they push here, and I take there, and then they take this. Hmm. But why am I so eager to do that? I'm not. Not at all. So... If I had one more pawn, this could be an interesting situation. Because then I could drop the pawn. Well, yeah, they Lance takes, and I drop another pawn. It's still not enough to break in. Strange. All right, we're moving the silver. This is the moment where they could consider a bishop exchange. Uh, well, one of many moments. And potentially, if they consider it, I move the bishop up and we exchange on my terms here, but that's not good. Um, never mind. If they open this diagonal, I don't know what I'm doing. But I am avoiding losing on time. I mean, we've got a minute to think about every move, at least. Um, I'm not spending... Well, I have a lot of thinking time I'm not using. But yeah, we've both built the same castle. Their attack is one step faster. Um... Hmm. Oh, okay, now I see what I could have done earlier. It's too late now.
Um, I'm debating if this moves up. Do I stay on the file toward the king, or do I try to protect my own king along the rank? I think we stay in the file, because otherwise um, we stay in the rank, our attack dies. But on the file, I can't... Like, this attack is hard. But on the rank, I don't know. I think the silver needs to assist in this attack over here anyway. Yeah, so if the silver moves to the left, I don't have a strong attack. Yeah, it needs to go here. Um, now, I could move my silver up. I push, I take, Lance takes, I drop a pawn. Not sure where this ends up. No, they're trying to break through right here. Moving the silver out there is not going to change. Well, it barricades the square. It's the wrong side of the board. Oh, hang on. Oh my goodness. There's a lot going on in this position. Um, It's a tense position. Um, all right, we're going to attack first. I don't have all the details worked out, unfortunately. But this has to be the right move.
40秒50秒12345678 My thoughts are scattered all over the place. Yeah, I don't know. The more I look at this, the better it looks. So, either I'm missing a lot of things, or this is actually a good position. Sanju Sanju Sanjubio
30秒40秒50秒うん、What's nerve wracking is this eventually bishop 5-5 might happen and might hit the lance in the corner and like everything here might be prone. Um, but their rook and silver are also loose and I can attack this castle some other way. If they drop a pawn here, eventually I might need to do king takes, which is scary, but we've seen worse. Possibly pawn takes eight four just loses a move. No, no. They had a strong threat. I had to respond somehow. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, this is loose. That's only a pawn. Let's not worry so much about it. More concerning is my lack of an initiative. And lack of... Oh, I've got three pawns. I can break this edge. I should start on that. Well, no, the king stops my attack before it proceeds too far. <sighs> um, It's all caused by my silver being so far back. 
Yep. If the silver had been up one more rank in this position, it might have a very different feel to it. But that's not the circumstance we're in. うん。秒。I almost forgot about this silver protects rook thing. Um, if my silver weren't accidentally here, then this pawn would just win my rook. Um, Conventional wisdom says that discretion is the better part of valor. So what that means is that here, if I start doing absolutely crazy things, my position is going to explode and I will be sad. So I should show restraint and respect for my pieces, etc. And find some way to attack and defend at the same time. I'm not doing so hot on the attack front. If they exchange bishops, then later my knight can move up to hit the silver, but um, it's, yeah, this is not good. But on the other hand, I can't just let them walk right in and start taking all my things. So the more pieces I exchange, the more danger my king is in in this position. I keep balancing this pawn 7-5 idea, or pawn 3-5. It's just, I've got so many other things to do here.
Alright. Uh, now I'm asking for trouble. Mm -hmm. They repeat the tactic, and with good reason. Uh, my rook is floating here. I mean, yeah, I'm certainly puzzling over how to try to make tactics work here. Where's the tactic? Quote Marvin Martian. There's supposed to be an earth shattering kaboom. Where's the kaboom? Sanjudio. Sanjudio Sanjudio 
50秒これより秒読みに入ります。三十秒。四十秒。五十秒。一、二、三、四。三十秒。四十秒。五十秒。一、二、三、四、五、六、七、八。三十秒。四十秒。五十秒。一、二、三、四。
30秒40秒50秒30秒40秒。I'm getting anxious because I'm quite optimistic about this. The deeper I look, the less I see. Like, I don't get it. That's forced. Oh, look at that. My king is in the same line as this knight. Maybe I should exercise some caution before walking right into that fork. Maybe. If I move the knight, I walk into a different fork.
30秒40秒50秒1234567Should have seen that. Sanjudio. Yonjudio. Sanjudio 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 Yonjudio Sanjudio Yonjudio Gojudio Itch Nick 
五六七。三十秒。三十秒。四十秒。五十秒。一、二、三、四、五、六、七。Why did I think this is okay? I mean, possibly it is okay, but it's such a mess. Gold drop would have been safer. I got greedy. Yeah, that's the move that exploits my greed. I forgot that with a little generosity, they can make this a bit complicated. So this pawn can sack. That's really their only move here. That's not a move.
30秒40秒50秒30秒。I saw that. Twice I looked at that and ultimately rejected it. King takes gold drop, king runs, they can take, I can run. Um, I thought this is clear cut and it definitely isn't in my favor. This is why I wanted to drop the gold here in the first place, but then I forgot. I forgot about this gold drop. So they have an attack all over again. Because I keep missing ideas. I keep overestimating my own king's safety. Well, this is going to end the series of blunders by protecting my king. Oh. Okay. I finally made a threat. Um, it seems to have worked. Thanks for the game. Super, super sharp game. Nothing new for us. But boy, that was... It hurts every time. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Uh yeah, okay. We weren't trying to entertain a crowd. This is just habitually how we play and we need to work on it. Um 
so yeah. Yeah, this is pretty intense. It might be a moment. <laughs> Wouldn't blame them if it took them a moment to reset and get a hang. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I know it's going to take me a minute or two. Many, many times here I kept imagining, well, they'll just drop a pawn to stop this. And I'm like, wait, no, they can't do that. Okay, well, then they'll just move this gold back to defend it. Well, it's not so easy. Um, you know, there's a lot of tactics with this bishop on 5-5. Five five. They really should have kicked this. If they could have kicked it a long time ago or prevented it or come up with a stronger attack, um, any of those would have been probably the best course of action. Um, I don't know that they can easily kick this without severe repercussions. Um, and yeah, this attack looks compelling. Uh, the problem is what the one thing we had out of our most recent book reading stuff is if you can checkmate, checkmate. If you can't checkmate, please make sure you're not already yourself checkmated deal with it yeah so that's one of those painful lessons you, you play enough games i guess you learn it or appreciate it if you solve enough uh, checkmate puzzles you learn and appreciate this better um now i think what i did well this game is spend my time i think that above all else is what i did well pacing myself all right cool yeah, if you're here, I can do the board in the full display, and that'd be beautiful. Um, uh, would you care to analyze from the top of the game? Um, yeah, sorry if it's inconvenient for you to do it this way, but if you do it this way, we end up with a beautiful video at the end. It's totally up to you, though. Like, If this is a huge chore, um, we could certainly do the analysis uh, entirely within 81 Dojo. Um, yeah, so as usual, uh, we prepared our fireworks. I saw you were again, we're playing for an opposing rook strategy. I still haven't come up with a hard counter to it. I'm starting to think that opposing rook is a super legitimate opening that I just need to be afraid of and have a good response to. Um, I got a bit excited here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let me give that a shot. Um, now, make sure that when we do the voice chat, you mute the live stream, okay? Otherwise, I think we get an echo. With enough trouble in it, or enough trial and error through some previous um, uh, attempts, I think we finally found a setup that works. So, let me see uh, my direct channels. Oh, okay. G-O-S... Oh. All right, I'll have to find you in the Shogi Harbor inside of somewhere. Or am I going to find some comment of yours here? Or rather, I can look at you in the member list. Let me see. Krolik, Archie, lots and lots of people here. 288 people online? Wow, I didn't realize we had such a population. I usually keep this um, this tab of member list empty. All right, so I'm looking for some way to find you here. Thank you. Much appreciated. All right, so if I click you or if I call, let's try that. All right, so we're trying to initiate a call. I can see my mic is on. Let me reduce my PC volume a touch. Hello. Hey, good evening. Welcome. I don't know if I am here <laughs> looking through the stream. Uh, yeah, 
I guess folks uh, listening on the live stream, can you hear him? Is the audio balanced? Do I need to change my mic? Sound check. Let's see. Can maybe I can boost you a little bit? I don't know how. But that's what everybody says to do. Um, all right. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. Could you speak a little louder? I guess or something. Okay. I will try. Okay, cool. Um, so, yeah, uh, I saw you typically play this opposing rook strategy. Um, and so it looked like you were aiming to do that again this game. Yeah, I feel very comfortable with, with that play in high footy. Hmm. Cool. Um, so, um, let's see. Yeah, did you have any questions about like how I started this opening um, here? I'm very familiar with this. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I'm I'm still learning it too. Um, maybe I shouldn't take this. I don't know. You don't have to take it immediately, but you can defend this row or file or row or file. <laughs> oh, interesting. Okay, so something like this then? No, I mean you you don't have to change it immediately. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. But you want to change uh, before I come here? Before, okay, this move. Okay. So you, you have like three moves for doing this push. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, yeah, so I... I'm always scared to like choose which castle to build before I see that you've committed to one file or another here. Um, so uh, I'm trying to think of a good way to spend a tempo. Oh, I don't know. Um, like your king is still in the center. I don't know. I'll figure this out sometime. Um, but yeah, that makes sense. I don't have to exchange right away. Um, so yeah, you do play this anyway. That makes sense. Because you see my king is on that side of the board. Um, so yeah, let's play on a bit here. Um, yes, I see you're building um, the twin gold castle and putting your king on 3-8 here. Yeah. yeah. So I do the same thing. Um, yep, that makes sense. And yeah, I see that you're indicating this sort of attack. Um, yeah, I don't know if it was a mistake. Because it allows you to come here. Hmm. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I guess move, maybe it, it's too early to move the silver then. Well, I don't know. Yeah, maybe yeah. it is a mistake. Um, but your silver position, I don't know. I feel that. Yeah, this is awkward, because if the bishops get exchanged, then the silver can hang, or if the rooks get exchanged, this can hang, and if it's not close to your king. Um yeah. So this gets really tricky. Yeah, usually I see that silver 
go here maybe like here oh okay ah i see so and this i'd have to like uh to do that i'd have to move this pawn mm -hmm. um but yeah i see what you're saying that usually this goes here so i'd have to play this earlier mm, yeah okay that is the most common but i know the silver in this position it's uh, yes a little weird I was trying to take advantage of, of the position. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense to try. Um, I'm trying to think of how you do, what ways you might be able to take advantage of this. Because, yeah, you're right, it's not next to my king. And it's really far away from your king, too. Um, so, I guess... Yeah, 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 I mean, you don't to attack, attack the silver, but to make pressure here. Yes. Because the silver is far away, away so, so I can, can bring my silver, silver around here. here. Yeah, I think this gives you more time to pull off a very strong attack, I think. Um, so, um, trying to figure out, uh, yeah. Obviously, I was confused during the game, but yeah, you have more time to attack, but I don't see like what you make of this extra time. But because like the silver's back on the th third rank, yours is on the fourth. Um, but yeah, I don't see a direct way for you to break in, but um, it's tricky. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this seems possible, and I guess maybe even this is possible, I don't know. Um, I guess what I was hoping for is that you'd take my pawn instead, but you saw, like, yeah, things get exchanged yeah, yeah. here. Trying to go here, right. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then I end up playing something like this. Mm. Oh, I think that you want to exchange here first. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, I, I thought you want to go. Oh, that's right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that transposes to the thing I wanted to do during the game. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Yeah. That's a good point. Um, yeah, in a different variation, I was wanting to do that. So, yeah, that, that makes sense. Um, yeah, and then this... Hmm. Um, in hindsight, I wonder how crazy this might be. Maybe this is too crazy. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, so yeah, silver takes. And then, am I forced to take here, or I don't know? Because if I drop the pawn, this... I think my attack runs out, yeah. So I guess I'm forced to do something like this. Um... Then maybe but for I, me, I think. yeah. Maybe I have to take this one with the gold. 
Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is a tough, it's a difficult position. Um, and, and throughout all this, I'm wondering, can I get away with something like this too, where like, this is not necessarily the easiest point to attack. Yeah. It looks really double-edged, I guess. I, I don't know. Yeah, um, difficult position. <laughs> yeah. So maybe this rook move is not best, but what to do? Um, maybe this blocks the bishop. Hmm. I'm trying to do some. Yeah. 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 Um, hmm. Yeah, I think that makes sense. So, hmm. um, what if I take the pawn first? Oh, what was your, what was your like this, like this here? Hmm. No, like take it. Oh, this. Um. Would I still want to do this? Yeah, we can I can put it here. <sighs> um the other thing I was curious about is this, which looks crazy, but I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, Yeah, this is sharp, you're right. Yeah, maybe I don't have like a good follow up. Yeah, I I might survive this just keeping this back here. Yeah. Yeah. Um
Yes, I think opening this diagonal here doesn't necessarily help you. Um, if you're forced to drop the pawn and then my pieces are able to take the side of the board. Um, but yeah, something like this looks interesting because yeah, you're able to shut down my bishop and then push it back and then continue your attack. Um, I guess there's a proverb about like using a rook and a pawn and a silver and a knight or something. And yeah, your attack is pretty scary, but I think it needs just one more piece here to succeed. Yeah. Because the bishop is stuck. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, this is sharp. Um, I'm not sure if what I did is reasonable or not. And um, did you take it? Yeah, I kind of wanted to take this, uh, but also like the rooks protecting this and the rooks protecting that. Mm -hmm. I can take it here. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Um. And if I try to take here first. Hmm. Where you um Attack with the phone. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, that's interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I can't find a way to continue my attack here. Yeah. 
it's a uh, very difficult to protect here. I can drop here. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you're threatening to drop on this side as well. Oh, that's dangerous. Wow. Okay, so yeah, your attack here is also quite strong. Yeah, that makes sense. So I guess what this means is like if I try taking this, this I'm exchanging too many pieces too close to my king. So yeah, maybe my retreat here was fine. It looks scary, but maybe it's fine. I see, and you finally defended this point here. Yeah, I want to sure to allow the room to come here. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's a good point. Um, so then that forces me to uh, move my bishop. And yeah, I spent a while looking at um attacking ideas like this but uh could not find out i thought your attack was too good here um, so i retreated yeah i was trying to find like that work here, but I didn't Yeah. Um. Oh, so I was wondering, um, what about this? And so if I take this, uh, this is kind of hard to defend. Yeah, I think that line drives me for a year away. Sorry, I didn't hear that. I was, I was trying, trying to. to... To think about that line, hmm. but I wasn't sure why I didn't do it. Okay, I feel that my route will be difficult here to, to enter to your camp. Uh, yeah, I guess yeah, it might be tricky to involve the rook here. Yeah, so okay. That makes sense, so... Yeah, so that's why we try to involve the rook here first. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Um, I was thinking a little about this, too. The idea of this, then that. And then this here too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that can be bad for me. Uh, but I was really nervous about my king. Mm, yeah, maybe I can sacrifice here. Yeah. 
Yeah. This looked interesting, but I couldn't figure it out, and so I chickened out of it. But I, I do wonder how good this is. Um, mm -hmm. So I see you have one, two, three aiming at this, and I have two defending it. I have three. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, three including the king. Yeah, that's right. Um, I can drop something here. Yes. So maybe, I wonder, could I... Well, no, I can't stop this drop from him. Well, okay. Maybe I can. Oh, right. Yeah. Um... Wow, that looks scary. Yeah, that looks good. Very nice. What will you do here? Um. Hmm. So I was considering this, maybe? So I'll try to use a pawn to stop the bishop. Hmm. Yeah, look hard for you here. Yeah. Yeah, I would need to find some amazing attack that like that strikes this way and defends this way. But uh it looks very hard. Yeah. Not sure. Yeah. So maybe it's good that I chickened out of trying this crate uh this exciting variation. Oh actually yeah, this oh uh, you wait no. I don't know if this mates or not. That looks strong. Mm, yeah, when... yeah, I guess we take this. Uh, maybe it doesn't mate, but... Um... Mm, if I take it, you can... Okay. True. But, yeah, what I see is this here. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, maybe. Hmm. 
Hmm. It's so close. Over here. Oh. Yeah, that looks uh wow. Mm. Mm. It's so close. Yeah, well, you're, yeah, I don't think it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, I can go here. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Huh. That's cool. You have two block edition. Yes. Um yep. It's yeah. not made. <laughs> I'm or not sure that or... this. I think my king escapes. Yeah. yeah. So that could we be are doing it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's clever. Um... Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's. It's very close. Um, yeah, this is a good defense. Yeah. So that lands here with check, but... Hmm. Mm, there has to be some way to do yeah. this, but yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I like that one. And I guess if I take this, that's... Uh, this is dangerous. I'm trying to figure out which piece belongs here next. Maybe silver. One thing I've been thinking about is this the whole time. Mm. Yeah, I think that stops my attack. So, yeah. No, here you are. I'm kind of here. Oh, I see. Yeah, I have too many pieces. Yeah, shoot. Wow. So maybe you're safe there? Yeah, maybe just by one move. Um, and maybe that's because this loses a move. Um, there's, but yeah, engines can figure this sort of thing out. Uh, Alexi is asking about 65, um, 83 silver. But in the main line? Uh, in this variation, I think. Let's 
So I have four to move here. Yeah, I thought this was winning. Oh, yeah, that's much simpler. Very good point. Yes, that, that mates. If you go back one more. Wow, so this, I guess, means that this does not defend. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because here you can take here. Right. That's right. Yeah, so this rook capture of the lance loses, it gets mated, and there is no other defense try here. Yes, this, um, yeah, that mates. Cool. Yeah, so this rook drop doesn't save the day. Yeah, so your attack prevails. This is good. Yeah. It's hard to find all of that during the game. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I know we were both looking at this sort of idea, which... Yeah, yeah, I was looking, but I, I'm not sure if it will help or not to me yeah. to make here this exchange. Yeah. I, yeah, I think it's too early to, well, I mean, we both thought it was too early for this, but... I wonder, maybe we were both mistaken. I was a bit concerned, but mm. um, not that you can take it right away, but it's I it's hard for me to attack your king. I don't know what I would do here. Yeah, but I don't have an immediate threat here. Mm. Give me if I change first, I can target here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess that's a good point. Yeah, that's that looks strong. Um Hmm. So I might have to play this once. Mm. I don't know if I have to take here. Oh, wow. Um... Hmm. Can I get away with this? Yeah, but this gives you one temple. Um... Now you can drop you. Well... Oh, hmm. yeah, yeah, what I was thinking about was this, but I can retreat here. Um, See, so yeah, this might be good.
Ah, yeah. Yeah, I think you need one more piece for this attack to succeed. Oh, that's interesting. Mm, I think you can take this. Oh, that's right, yeah, this uh, defends that. Yeah. See, I'm not sure if this works for you or not. Yeah, maybe not. I was thinking maybe this. Um, and then you can try this again. I don't see how I stop it. Oh. Hmm. I think you can defend again. Yeah, I just thought about this. Um, does that defend against this? Yeah, it's hard. You can go here or here. Yeah, I think if this retreats, we might even have this here. I don't know. Um, but this looks interesting. Um. Hmm. Yeah, maybe this holds, or I don't know. Um, yeah. But backing up a little, mm -hmm. still kind of like this idea. Um, so we have a bishop and a rook both aiming this way. And maybe someday this could get played and, oops, uh, force this rook away from your king. You have this one too. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess I do. You have fun. Oh, oh, right. Uh, yes. Oh, goodness. Wow. Um, okay, yeah, that makes this rook drop very slow then. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, so maybe the silver up is fine. So this pawn drop might not work here. Wow, this rook drop is amazing. Yeah, I don't know how you get one more attacking piece, but it looks like right now just the silver is attacking. Yeah. But you're not attacking here. 
Oh, that's right, yeah. So Alexi points this out. Yeah, that's a fork. Um, you know, during the game I was thinking about things like this. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. It's kind of amazing this bishop can't attack these golds very easily. If I could just exchange my bishop for one of these, I'd have a strong attack, but I can't. Maybe I need to think ahead a bit more. And just play this right off the bat. Here. Okay, yeah, that does block my bishop. Yeah. Uh, wow. And then I have this. That makes sense, yeah. Yeah. So it looks like you have met ways to approach this. It it takes a lot of, it takes some time to get all of your pieces out, but um, it's going to take me time to attack also. Yeah, so Alexi, I think, was asking whether or not uh, this, I don't know when he says this, I'm, maybe he's talking about the pawn drop threat here. Or After 2 5 bishop. Could this be played first? Um, oh, and then the other pawn drop. Instead of blocking here. Yeah. Um, well, I guess this tests that idea. Are you suggesting we take this first? Um, oh, this is dangerous for if I move my knight. Oh, I'm sorry. This check? Really? Must... Oh. Huh. Oh, I see. Wait, this is confusing. We take the gold. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. That's, uh, yeah, that's very strong. Um, yeah, and I don't have a mate, and I am mated. Oh, that, well, yeah, silver takes is forced. Okay, and then we try to do a fork. King's not going to walk into this fork, but... Hmm. But I have to I have to take it. Yeah, I actually might have to take it. Uh, 
Yeah, the knight's even better than I was thinking about a pawn drop, but this knight hits both squares. Yeah, wow. Yeah, so my defense... This defense fails. Um, so I can't move the knight. Uh, but yeah, other defenses just collapse too. Yeah. Nice. Yes, yeah, so this seems to be a key attacking idea, um, which means this bishop two five just it fails to defend. Okay, Alexi notes this. Hmm. And then you'd suggested this. Yeah, and I think, um, oh, Alexi prefers this up the board a bit. Or right, recommends we look at this. Yeah, can go here. Yeah. Wow, yeah, your attack hits so, so much faster than mine does. Yeah, I can't pick this line. Yeah, with the knight move and the pawn drop and all that, that's that's really powerful. Um, so yeah, this bishop five five uh, idea and then taking the diagonal looks uh, quite good. Not sure what else there was. Uh, yeah, this is a critical moment. Yeah, sorry if I missed something in our chat there. I know Alexi's saying some of these aren't completely clear. But yeah, I think this this is a complicated thing we were both looking at. Um, yeah, then when you move the silver up, I thought that I that can work. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I saw you played. Uh, Eighty One Dojo says you had thirty five seconds here. You, you were quite excited about this. Yeah, and I. I started to question, like, I'd looked at this, I was, I thought I was okay, but, um, yeah, you had me scared for a bit here. I'm not sure you have to take the bomb. Yeah. I'm not sure. I thought I was okay here. I thought you're. I thought this might have been too early. Um. I. I mean, I didn't exactly see what you should do, but I thought, like, I came out on top after this. But what can you do here? Yeah, I was thinking exchange. Yeah, and I was debating do I take this way or this way? I think this way. I think maybe you have to use your knight for this idea here. Yeah. 
Well, this would be a beautiful attack if I have time for it. I don't know if I have time for it here. Um... So, I wonder about something like this. So, my rook is not defended, and this is kind of a weak spot. Yeah, I was thinking here, like a mid stack here. Oh, well, that's cool. Yeah. It makes sense to do that because you have two extra pawns in hand. So it's good to use this pawn. Yeah, I think I'm in trouble here. Well, like you said, this is my threat, but I have to time it well. Yeah. Yeah, this looks hard for me to stop. Yeah. Yeah, let's see notes that, like, if you had another pawn push uh, threatening in this way, this might look more scary. I guess because I have so many pieces defending my king here. Yeah. Read the three messages. In the position with silver at 7-6 and knight on 7-7. Seven, seven. The king positions are symmetrical, but there's a difference with the silvers. This silver versus that silver, and this one versus that one. Black seems easier to attack. Um, also, the eighth foul pawn is traded off. This looks easier for white. It's easier for black to play. Hmm. Oh, sorry, that's fine. The 3 4 silver here. And that variation versus 6 5. Yeah. Yeah, this is much more aggressive than this is. Um. And the 8th file pawn is traded off on this file. Mm, yeah. Yeah, so um, these two pieces are floating, and this one's floating, and if the rook ever moves, the rest of this is all hanging too. So it is. Yes, yeah, so my pieces are in a lot of danger here, which is why I was thinking. I mean, I know you're suggesting this, and I know we want to do this someday, but I might need to back off here. 
Um, but it's still easier for you to play because you've exchanged off your pawn here. And your silver's close to my king. Yeah. I guess I just realized that if I take this, um, my rook's in danger. Yeah, that will be an exchange. Yeah. And yeah, I guess in the opening, a bishop can be better than a rook, but here, a rook seems quite useful. Yeah, so I can surround your king. Yeah. Wow. Um, so, yeah, so maybe this bishop exchange was, I don't know. It looked good. I could consider this too and try to uh, eventually get this out, this here, but my attack is so slow. Yeah, I'm not sure what's happening in this position. But yes, uh, we were both really excited by this position, and uh, especially this variation. But I think there are many other things to look at, too. Yeah. Um... So I took that, which I don't know if that's a good idea. Like, can I do this? Oh wait, now this ends up in some trouble here. Um... But yeah, I thought this is okay. And yeah, I, there's a lot to figure out in this position. Um, I almost played this uh, pawn drop again and then remembered uh, that this is uh, in danger. Oh, sorry. Yes, yeah, so you indicate silver takes here. Um, yeah. And if I take back, um, yeah, so here, yeah, I think you come out ahead. So I almost played that. Um, then I was thinking, do I play this? Do I play that? Um, do I try to just defend my rook? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I don't know. So I came up with this. Um, yeah, this is clever also. There's so, so much to look at, and I don't know what the answer is. Because of this, then... 
I haven't... Yeah, this attack didn't really work the way that I thought, so... That's tricky. What if we take here? Okay, so... Hmm. Yeah, maybe this Rook Retreat... Does this win a piece? Not sure, because you have to, you can drop it anywhere. Mm. Oops, here I lost the visual. Yeah. I see you do have a rook and a silver in hand. Mm, so maybe it's there for me. And then to activate the rook. Oh, wait, this would lose the pawn. Never mind. Um... Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I guess maybe the retreat, the rook might not work. This was clever. Yeah. Um, maybe I should just take this. And then I was thinking about this. Sure. And escape. Yeah, my yeah, my king escapes here. Yeah, it's quite a threat. You can escape. Oh, that's right. I still have an escape. Wow. I was considering trying to block mm. this wreck. But, um... Mm. Yeah. It's probably still best if I block the wreck first, though. But yeah, it looks like I do escape here. And then eventually, hopefully, or eventually somehow I get a gold and continue an attack. Yeah, I found good gold. Um, so yeah, maybe I could have just, in this position, uh, I'd taken this rook. This might have been cleaner. But yeah, um, I 
It's, it was such a wild game at this point, uh, but I think I finally got the initiative. Yeah. Yeah, my attack runs out here. Yeah. Uh, is there anything more we want to look at after this? Yeah, I'm good with that. Okay, cool. Yeah, thanks. Uh, we always have an exciting game. Um, yeah. So I'll have to figure out how to make it even more exciting next time. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, thanks for help with the analysis. Thanks. Thanks for the game. Thanks. I'll see, see you next time. time. Yep. All right. So that's our post game analysis. Uh, yeah, this is a really, really, really sharp game. We tend to play very sharp games. Um, this time I knew in advance that he really enjoys this attacking idea. So I was a bit careful about what castle I built. And I got lucky somewhere, somewhere in that crazy middle game that we had. Um, and yeah, I was able to like, snatch the initiative and uh, I was able to take the game. So I'll have to work on um, I don't know, my end game and middle game here. Um, because, yeah, this is really strong. And sure, I played well, we both played well, but um, it seems like I'm always struggling to hold on. And it'd be nice to uh, win games not requiring a lucky shot like this. So. Yeah, there's a lot to evaluate, but to really understand the middle game, we have to understand the end game first. So, uh, yeah, that was an exciting teaching writer game. Hope we all enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.